I get what people are saying and I know why they're complaining. I just don't see the significance or the issue. What's the issue? I don't get it. Anyways. It's been a good week because Vetmall has released their new collection and it's beautiful. But there's just one thing. A lot of people seem to disagree. So on June 27, 2023, Vetmall released their spring 2024 ready to wear collection. I thought it was nice. And then I went on Instagram and a lot of people did not seem to like it. Now it's the 30th. I believe this is going up the 31st. And I just wanted to like, you know, wait and see what people had to say because people had a lot to say. So if you don't know, Vetsmal was started by Demna, who has a brother named Giram. I hope I'm saying that right. They started this iconic brand, one of my favorite brands. Um, it had a lot of like fun pop culture references and a lot of military references and like utilitarian references. And we continue to see these references as Demna has now joined Balenciaga. He left his own brand, Vetsmal. Um, I believe Giram apparently was like running like the business side of things. And and now Giram is directing at Vetsmall as of 2022, which people have mixed feelings about. Before I get into like my perspective of the brand, I just think that it would make sense to tell you like where this brand came into like my life, like my storyline. When it all like was really going down, I was way too young to know what was going on. I was like, I think probably in middle school. And also I didn't really know much about fashion. I didn't really even go on the internet really. I know the fashion bros are gonna eat this. But the way that I really, began to learn about Vetsmont was through obviously some of the iconic pieces that we began to you know hear about whether it's from Balenciaga, Demna, or you know Vetsmont but I really became familiar with it through Ariana and like her always wearing the bombers and I thought you know they were so cool and just like the way she styled things like I was like whoa what are these pieces like no one like hers wearing these things you know anyways I really really like the items that they have to offer and some of the references and I think that's why my opinions on this collection are different than what I think a lot of people think of this collection. So let's just look at the collection and then we'll go to what people are saying. So we can just cover it all. So with this collection, you guys can look it up if you want. Giram basically was talking about how AI influenced this work, which I thought was interesting because that whole craze wasn't super long ago. So I just wonder how long they worked on this collection because I could see that this collection, you know, especially with the accusations of copying could be something that was like easier to like pull together. I don't really know, but I mean, I like it, shit. Basically, he's just talking about how in AI, you know, you can see like the curvature of materials or like the extreme puffiness or whatever, just things that, you know, he was basically saying were only really up to imagination before. And now he feels like he was able to kind of materialize those, especially after like seeing all those visuals everywhere, which I don't really have an opinion on that. But as for the clothes themselves, I really did like them. So I just want to get into it. So first looks one and two, um, they have like the whole, I want to say like dress form thing going on. I know they used that print before, but especially with the color, it's like really hitting this time. Pretty cool. I wonder how much of the dress is like all connected and what's like detachable but it also looks like there's shoes incorporated into at least you know the jumpsuit one like on the bottom it looks kind of structured but okay they're pretty but there's better so let's just get into it next this look number four reminds me of this Balenciaga look and like those shoulders I mean obviously the whole vibe you know they're brothers and I think I want to get into that in a second you know but this specific look does remind me of the, that one Balenciaga show. Look five, this to me doesn't really say anything. They experiment a lot, the two of them, with like these button up shirts, which I like, um, and just even like suspending shirts, like in gravity kind of, with like, you know, at Balenciaga Couture, it was like the aluminum in the fabric that made it like hover a little bit. And then this is something else, I don't know. The collars, I mean, I don't know. This isn't like my favorite. So one thing that I've only just noticed is these rings that are on like the choker and the bracelets, I think might be a reference to these old hoop details that were on these early Vetement show looks. I didn't catch this because I don't really love any of these looks. Like they're not my favorites out of these shows. And also I don't think that Demna or anyone's doing this like hoop detail thing anymore. So it didn't click for me, but like I said, and like I will be saying throughout this video, I think that there are ties to old Vesalia work that we're gonna see a lot in this collection. Look six, we're getting more into the territory of the show that I liked. Um, not much to say here though. So look number seven, this is interesting because this talks about the whole XL 
theme and like the label theme so you know we've seen this on like supreme and stuff but okay that was like the dumbest shit i've ever said because clearly this has been used for ages before that little supreme champion collab this is a thing that is done in like sports jerseys and hoodies and whatever clearly i have no idea what i'm talking about i'll get into it in a second but there's a debate between like vetsma and balenciaga like who's doing it first i mean it's been a thing but i just wanted to insert this specifically especially with the relevance of like timing balenciaga had the whole 3xl thing with demna so you had like a 3xl sneaker you had this stuff that said 3xl on it i didn't explain this well so i'm just gonna insert on the right is the xxxl campaign that i've been talking about but the two left pictures are actually previous size labeling that vetma has done before obviously especially if this is like a sportswear thing it's not really something that should be too scrutinized i think but like i said the timing and the font and just the vibe of it overall especially with like the shape of the clothes and the specific articles it appears to have some form of correlation which a lot of people are calling out saying it's like a copy and paste collection type of thing which i understand but also like i don't know for me personally like i am a fan of the similarities between the vetsma and balenciaga especially like how i mean personally i view their work as like their personal storyline and their brothers so i mean I never really had an issue when I saw similarities. I saw similarities between shoes and like certain styling. Like I just didn't see the issue, you know? For example, okay, I guess we're getting into this shit right now. The like panta boot thing where it's like all connected. Balenciaga had this one from the mud show where it was like the boot jean thing and it was actually all one piece. And then we had like, you know, a similar look from Vetma. I mean, obviously these are all very similar. I feel like I didn't touch on this enough. So I'm gonna cover some of the Vetma Balenciaga look alike that people have talked about in the past and tell you my thoughts on them. So Vetma and especially Demna are no stranger to bombers. Looking at the black bombers, it started with this one, and then about a year or two later, they came out with this one. Here it is zipped up. And there are certain characteristics of this that make it super distinct. So for example, the drop shoulder, the scrunched sleeves, just the overall oversized silhouette, the hood and the strings, everything's the same color, the gold hardware. And this is especially significant because Demna is the one that put these bombers back on the map for mainstream fashion. So then when we look a couple seasons later at his collections that Balenciaga. We obviously see, you know, callbacks to his work, which I really enjoyed, of monochrome bombers with the same type of details. Big oversized silhouette, there's a hood, the strings, the gold hardware, it all matches in color. It's the same vibe. It's even presented the same way. Here are some other examples that came to mind. On the left is Vetma, and on the right is Balenciaga. You have the same monochrome bomber situation going on. Same sort of thing here. I couldn't find the exact one I was looking for, but the vibe is very similar. Now, the funny thing is that Vetma has actually addressed this before. There's speculation that this is like a marketing ploy, that that's what I think it is. Honestly, this was all going down before I had any interest in this at all, so I'm not really sure exactly what the timeline is, but I think it's funny. Now, to provide some more examples where Demna has now spent a lot more time at Balenciaga and now Giram is at Vetement, and they've, you know, been at their separate brands for quite a while. Here are some Balenciaga pants that this is a lot more clear and like recent to see the influence, but I think it's kind of tricky because everyone's copying this style of pants. But you know, we have the big pants, the cargo pants, the big messed up jeans. And then here's Vetman version, which also I love those cargo pants, but you know, we have the same vibe going The reason why I'm not as quick to call this exactly like copying I mean like not just because everyone's doing it that makes it okay But I think that everyone is making pants like this right now So to call like Demna's literal brother a copier in this sense like doesn't really make sense to me But I mean you can clearly see where the influence is coming from now. Here's my thing about the internet I think that the internet like no matter what fandom you go into, what like section of the internet, literally anything, like pop stars, fashion, politics, like my observation of just the internet as a whole is that people love talking. People love saying things that reflect their image. Like, why are you mad that Vetsma doesn't have the most original ideas right now? Like, do you care that much? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a fan and I'm just having a good time. You know what I mean? I see the big jackets. I see like the tight gowns with the gloves. Like, I'm just like, fun, beautiful, you know? Obviously, his brother who started the brand with him, that's mom. They might have some overlap. Shit, they might be quite similar. I thought it was kind of cool that they were similar, especially like a while ago when I was, you know, learning more about this and I was like, okay, Demna's now Balenciaga, like, oh, and they have like similar ideas going on. My idea, my thought process wasn't to be like, why are they the same? Like, who 
are you good? And like, I just see on the internet, like the words are like fighting words that are being used. Like, it's not just like, oh damn, I wish it was a little more original. Or, I wish we could see Garam bring things to the table that Demna hasn't. It's people going off. I'm not gonna put anybody's name in here cause I just, that's like unnecessary, but like, that's why I wanted to wait to film this because going through these comments over the past couple days was like crazy. Okay, no hate to this person, but let me copy your homework ass collection. Stop posting this crap. Anyone with a semblance of a brain can see that this collection is just stolen Demna designs, but make it 16XL. If you cared about Vetsmall, you'd stop posting your own sad little knockoffs. Don't put stolen work on a pedestal. Is it that serious? And stolen work, like, how do you know? You know what I mean? What, just cause it's similar to his brothers? And like, also, I feel like some of the stuff was intentional, okay? For example, I'll talk about this look in a second, but this look with the red jacket, even the way it's like positioned is clearly meant to like trigger your brain to realize like that it's a reference to the last look, especially to the fact that like, it might be one of the, it might be, if I'm correct, the only red bomber jacket that Vetsmon has produced since that really old one. Like I'm talking bright red, not the maroons, none of that, not the patches, just the red jacket. And in my opinion, the way it's styled, you know, it's clearly meant to spark your mind. I just wanted to correct myself. The model was wearing this jacket. They also made a crop version that year. And then a couple years later, they went on to make this version with Alpha Industries. There's a couple things in my opinion that are meant to like trigger your mind like that. Another look that I'll talk about in a second is this look. This is with the white bomber. I don't think Vetsma has done a white bomber since the 2017 white bomber. So, I mean, clearly I think they're like referencing old days in the same way that Demna at Balenciaga is now referencing his old days at Balenciaga. And like, I think he's always referenced his old work, but it's really weird. Like maybe they're about to retire or something like both of them collectively because Demna is like making stuff that says like Balenciaga archive on the tag. And it's very similar to like early Demna Balenciaga day stuff. So maybe they're just like rolling out some like fan favorites and then they're gonna retire i don't really know but i don't know anyways so with this look i mean i really like it because for me like aside from you know what everyone else is talking about like i honestly whether i agree or don't agree isn't even really my point in talking about this it's more like who cares are you gonna enjoy it or not i don't know i enjoy this hoodie i think it looks really cool i love the way the sleeves are so big and then the way they like scrunch like you can't get that from just like sizing up like that has to be done through specific shapes you know the shirt and the jeans i've never really understood the whole doodle thing it's not my favorite but i love the shape of them i guess look a i love this look i love the way the sleeves and like once again the sleeve hole the position of the sleeve hole like everything has to be done a certain way you can't just size it up and have it look like this um and then you know we have these like parts coming out on the bottom i don't really understand fully what's going on but i mean i like the look of it now look number nine i really like this look because I've seen like navy blue bombers from Vetsmo, specifically this one, but I haven't seen one this big. So it's just like crazy for me to see. I have two mediums, one from 17 and one from 18. And it's funny cause like they do not fit like this at all. They still fit like huge. And like, I wish I could have like the double XLs even though they'd be sized like five XLs. But trust me, this is like maybe an actual 16 XL. I don't know, but I think it looks really cool. Now, one of my favorite parts about this is like people are afraid to oversize. They really just are. Like when, you know, the average person wants to like oversize a hoodie or something, they buy one size up. No one's gonna know Notice the difference. Also, it might just make you look awkwardly like bigger, like you're not filling out the hoodie right or like it's not fitting right, like it's just awkward. I've gone through phases where I was sizing up things one or two sizes and like you just can't tell. You can't, you need to go up a lot more. That is when I started wearing like the 5XL bombers from Alpha Industries and those were like the days. I wanna buy them again, I sold them. Now I have the two Vetsmon that are mediums and you know, they fit huge like I said, but I also have a 7XL uh, Rothko one. I kinda wanna get some 10XLs as well. I really, really love them. I also love how, just in case you're interested in buying, unfortunately Alpha Industries only does the gold hardware on the black jackets now, which is like so annoying. So if you want like, it's not as good quality as Alpha Industries, but at least you get like the gold hardware. If you go to Rothko, you can get like a 10XL when Alpha only goes up to like a 5XL and you can get it in like the gold hardware on basically any color, which I love. So if you want to recreate these looks for less than like fucking three bands, like 
you can do it. Anyways, so I love seeing this jacket because I haven't seen one this big and this is when, you know, my mind does realize what he's talking about about AI. Especially because for me, I'm always so frustrated like trying to size things up. I just feel like everything is so small. Like literally everything is so small. Like even when stores just go up to like a 2XL, it looks like slightly oversized on me. Like I'm six feet tall, I'm not the skinniest person. So when I like see it, I'm just like, but I'm happy about this, I really like it. So then we have this t-shirt dress, which immediately reminds me of this dress. Um, I think it's just cause of like the sleeves and the neckline, it's like a t-shirt, you know? But I really like it and how the skirt is actually like flown out a lot. I think it's really pretty. So look 11, these jackets with their like sleeves like kind of done forward, I really do like that. This one's quite big, which I don't really mind. Um, I don't really understand the prints that are going on. It kind of reminds me of like some of the other prints I've seen from Vetsmo like a long time ago. Go, but I don't really understand it too much. Also, I'm not the biggest fan of leather like this, so I don't care too much. I thought Vetsmall was doing two stripes. This is three, and it kind of reminds me of Adidas, and it kind of reminds me of Balenciaga Adidas. So I don't know what that is about, but they look nice. Look 12, I'm not a plaid person. Never have been. Probably won't be. And they have it on like the little face thing. I think that's fun, like mixing like the super sleek modern thing with maybe the little more like traditional type of pattern. The jacket is like, it looks like leather. It's puffy. I like that a lot. So they did good with that. Look 13, I really like this. I don't know what the M stands for, but I like the position of the choker. The corset looks real nice, tucked into the pants. It reminds me of when Bella wore this Balenciaga look. The contrast is just super nice. And the way that it like, I don't want to say like mimics a gown, but it's just like a more casual silhouette that like if you squinted could be like a gown i just think it's cool the jacket is nice it reminds me of like north face a little bit with the colors vetsma has done like north face inspired things before i love how huge the sleeves are so i love when vetsma slash demna slash whatever they're working on does these like blue white like vertical striped shirts i want to get one just because they have convinced me it looks so nice once again the jacket's giving like north face vetsma moment you know oh i see these two panels here on the jeans and I think that the other jeans were just one inside out because those three things would be like the three stripes But okay, anyway look 15 So I do like this a lot because it's just something different I mean, it's not something different in the sense that like it's revolutionary like groundbreaking like we're all like holy shit Never could have seen this coming. Definitely not what I'm saying, but I think it looks nice I love the Vetsmon classic string like circumference and like tie as well I don't know <laughs> where this is going if this will ever be made but it's nice to look at because fashion is just art. We all need to calm the fuck down. This is like a Sherpa jacket, which has never really been my thing. I do like how big it is and how it maybe looks a little deconstructed in the pockets. I'm not too familiar with this type of jacket. But one thing I do notice is this heart necklace, which is, I think, you know, another Vetsmal reference to the Titanic. For some reason, they just love their Titanic references. It doesn't stop, which I kind of live for. I also see that this shirt is like either crew neck that's inside out or it's just printed the other way. I like how when they're styling it, they like do weird things. I remember the first time I realized this was this picture. I'm low-key pretty sure they have like two or four jackets on because if you look at the sleeves, like the way it's done and like the weights on the shoulders, it's just weird. I actually have the jacket that's on one of his arms and it just doesn't like look like that. Oh, look 18, this appears to be some type of like patent leather. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I like the amount of like t lines and textures in there. That's what I love on the black jacket, especially that material because I feel like it just gives a level of like, oh, that like you don't get in other jackets, you know? And especially cause like, I'm not the biggest fan of this shape. So like, you know, wearing something that is this shape, it's like a lot more fun because it has the detail of all those lines and piping and stitching in it. And obviously I love the size of it as well. Pants don't have any thoughts. This appears to be a dress. It looks like it goes down all the way. On the bottom, it actually looks unhemmed maybe. I like it. I like how it's scrunched. I don't have a Vets Mom hoodie besides the two like bomber jackets I have, which have like Vets Mom hoods, but like when you tie them, they don't fall the same way as the way a hoodie would. Cause like the way the hood is connected. Also, 
the new hoods are a bit updated i believe but it just looks so nice like it just looks like it folds so nice and like i know nobody will really care what i'm saying right now but like the thickness of those strings and the way they're tied are just so beautiful i literally have done that to multiple of my hoodies growing up just to like mimic that look because it looks so nice also, just really quickly, what is the whole limited edition thing about? Because I was not around when that was, like, being used instead of, like, the year on the hood. And I don't really understand the significance of that. So, look, 20. This is very fun. This is a denim gown dress thing. It looks like there are gloves under. Maybe they connect all the way. I don't know. But it's really beautiful. I love the way that it, like, flares out at the bottom. Super sick. Look 21, all camo look. I think this is very fun because, you know, it has all the pockets, has the convertible shorts, and then more pockets, and then straps, and then more pockets, and a belt. They did the whole mask, and the jacket, and the shirt, and stuff. I mean, it's fun. I like it. Is it anything super interesting? No. However, I think it's necessary because I think we're always trying to find reasons to be like, this isn't new, this isn't whatever. But like, our fave does bomber jackets every seasonal season. I'm not mad about it. My faves have been known for sticking to one thing, specifically. So I don't mind. I'm skipping looks because I don't care to talk about them. Look 24, I just love it. So let's, let's break it down. So we have a something under this hoodie, right? Crew neck, shirt, I don't know. Then we have this hoodie with once again, those strings that are just done so beautifully. Then we have a hoodie over the hoodie, but is it zip up hoodie with maybe the same design? Who knows? Now we have two jackets. Now let me tell you what's interesting about this. The bomber jackets in this collection are all different. And the reason why I know this, I'll skip forward just a little bit. I'm gonna reference a look again that I was talking about earlier. If you look at this jacket closely, you can see these zipper tracks, which where the hood would go. And the reason why I know this is because I have the Vetsmon jackets that have hoods. So that's where the hood zips in, right? However, when I was looking at one of the other looks, Looks, you don't see that zipper track in there and in fact you actually see another detail which I'll talk about in a second that references old vet small so I like that they're doing you know some hooded ones some not hooded ones it's like a throwback to old vet small um but these jackets do have hoods on them I presume they're gray hoods now I already said I was gonna make a video on this in detail but I just want to talk about it especially as this is my first video really getting into vet small and I love this brand so let's just talk about it so vet small always started so Vetements started with their green bombers, but especially with these, these are the hooded ones. So this is the first time that we saw hoods getting attached to bombers, especially in this color. You could see the military, but also street style influence, and I think it's really cool. And one thing I noticed is that while Demna wasn't working with Alpha Industries yet, he was using their signature green color. This is a picture of a regular Alpha Industries bomber jacket. Then once he started working with Alpha Industries, he didn't make a green and gray hood bomber for a while, but he did do this beautiful green and green hood bomber, which Ariana has worn, and that's how I found out about it, and I love it. And she also had the original green with the gray hood, which I love as well, both of which I'm looking for. But Demna slash Vetsmon clearly had such an appreciation for this color as it was later used on this jacket and a couple more down the line. But especially as Demna started influencing over at Balenciaga, the whole monochrome thing and like cool color thing and less relaxed color palette in clothing became a force in fashion. So the jersey gray hood with the green jacket wasn't as popular. In fact, the most recent iteration that they have of that type of design was with this a lot more brown version that goes a lot more with this new distressed jean kind of like dystopian look in my opinion. And that still looks like what I'm seeing with this new jacket. Some people might get it confused, but the new green color is nothing like the old green. I do really, really like the old green, and I don't love the new green as much, but I just thought I would talk about it. I wonder if they made the hoods really big too, or if they're just like regular size. I don't know, but they didn't choose to show them off. I don't think any of the jackets have hoods shown off in this entire collection. So, I mean, I'm curious to see if these will even go into production. I mean, like all they had to do was just use a lot of fabric and, you know, make a collection, but I'm just curious what will go into production. Also, there wasn't a show for this. So like, I'm not like super keen on how this works i know every man does it differently but like let's look at balenciaga for example right they'll do like an entire set of looks for a show maybe some of those don't go into production and a lot of stuff comes out that wasn't in the show or maybe stuff that comes out in the stores was in the show but you know some of the stuff that comes out wasn't in the show what's going to come out of this because people are just looking at this there's no show like i'm just curious you know what i mean i bet a lot of it won't be made but i'm just curious and i would love to see these jackets like for real as this is one of my favorite looks 
I gotta just keep talking about it. I love the gold hardware on this so much. Vetsma gold hardware on bombers, especially alpha bombers are just so great. If y'all don't know, I'm like 99% sure that every single bomber in this is made with alpha industries. They rarely make bombers without alpha industries anymore, but ugh, these are beautiful. And if you're not aware, alpha industries is like the official military supplier or whatever and like has been for the longest time. And so like Demna like didn't work with them at first because like he wasn't able to, but then like shortly into the development of Vetsma like after a couple shows I think they started working with Demna and like did other collabs and like there have been so many beautiful jackets that have come out since um these are some of them but I just love them love the jeans as well I think you know at the end of the day like I understand what people are saying and maybe you know what that is like a totally valid point and like an artistic take but I really like that like this stuff is just being done through a different outlet, you know, because if, you know, Demna's brother wasn't doing this, Demna and Balenciaga would be the only ones doing it through just Balenciaga materials and factory. And, you know, obviously the more like caring business mindset, but if someone else were to do it that wasn't Demna, then it would be really weird because it would be like, oh, who the hell is copying Demna? Like, why? But since it's Demna's brother, I'm kind of like, okay, like, this is some family activity, you know? Like, mm -hmm, love it. And especially how it's like at Demna's old brand, like, I just think this makes sense. Like, I don't understand why everybody's so mad. Look 28, I'm not exactly sure what I'm thinking of, I'll insert it, but this reminds me of this coat. Um, I think these are actually like stones on the little morph suit thing, which I think is really pretty and like a fun way to experiment with like, you know, bejeweling and like opera glove glamorization. But I really do like the jacket. I like the way that it's like positioned as well. I mean, it's just really beautiful. Once again, nothing groundbreaking, but I feel like this is supposed to reference like old Vetmo. Here we got the Titanic necklace again. And then we have these big pants, which are like convertible and pockets and just really pretty silhouette as well. Um, The blue plaid, not my favorite, but I kind of like how it's paired. I mean, I feel like we just have a lot going on. Like we have like plaid and then like a titanic moment and then like big ass pants like i don't know i just think it's interesting combining all those look 30 it reminds me of the red look obviously i really like it in blue i kind of like the red more but i think this is meant to be like maybe also a nod to like the upside down puffer look 31 wikipedia editor i don't know why but i do like this i like how the letters are like different colors i think but i just like how it looks i think it's funny i'm wondering if the layering is under it as well because if so i would like that the hood scrunches so nicely it's very simple but it's cute now look 33 this is my shit i have been loving any Vesalia like all black moment. I didn't see much of that at like Vetma on Vetma, especially when Demna was there. In my opinion, it was more like when Demna went to Balenciaga, especially like recent shows and like the whole Kim K stuff. It's very fierce for me. I love it. It's very easy for me. I feel very comfortable wearing all black. So when I see this and the size and the material and just the way it falls, This one's beautiful. This reminds me of that Bella look again, kind of with like that type of top tucked into, you know, big pants. But I like this because this is more of like a business pant. The jacket looks like wool. I love how the shoulders, like you can see where their shoulders are and then the lower shoulders. It just looks so nice. Other than Demna and maybe like Head Maynard or something. I mean, no one's doing it like the Vesalia twins. I mean, I'm sure they talk and work together all the time, but I just really love the way that this looks. So now we're revisiting this look, which I just talked about like two seconds ago. Go. and I really like this look a lot this pink and like yellowy beige off-white color I believe we have seen this before maybe even the like flip color like on the same type of jacket I'm not really sure but one thing I did notice is that even though this doesn't have like the hood zipper track thing what this does have is like where the middle back column is like cut out and then like moved up and restitched in I'm pretty sure I love the way also that it's styled like just the way that it's like floating I mean obviously that's not gonna happen unless your hands are in your pockets but it just looks so cool in my opinion I really love it here the jeans are in a different color as well it kind of just matches the inside of the jacket which is like a nice little touch but I mean the jacket's really beautiful well I wouldn't wear this color I love the shape so much look 37 so okay this one, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. I feel like it's just so big. I feel like the way it's falling is just very like kind of like weird to look at, like zigzag, you know? I can't tell if like this is layered or if it's like not. I kind of like that I can't tell though. Obviously I love the whole like construction type of, you know, color scheme going on. And another thing that I love about these collections is like, you never know when these jackets might be convertible, 
for example, the, you know, 2017 jacket. I mean, it was literally croppable and you wouldn't be able to tell in the show. Um, I just love that, like, you know, there's a lot of, as the French say, trompe things where, you know, like the all-in bomber from Balenciaga or the trompe l'oeil shirt. I didn't really explain this well, but trompe l'oeil basically means trick of the eye. And I think that it was first used on paintings to make them look kind of 3D, even though they were just paintings that were 2D. But I believe the phrase, which is French, has, you know, become more widely used and normalized to describe other things, kind of just like the word illusion from my understanding. So some examples of this are like how the Vetement bombers with the hoods kind of look like if you put a hoodie under a bomber jacket, or with the two examples on screen, we have the Balenciaga all-in bomber, which looks like it has the zip-up hoodie under a bomber jacket, but it's all one piece. Or you have this fake long sleeve shirt with a short button sleeve shirt over it, but it's actually all one piece, and it's just meant to sit a certain way and achieve a certain look and, you know, give you that illusion, but it's not what that actually is and it's completely wearable in another way. And that's why I don't really ever have an opinion right when a show from these two brothers. Let me have this look. <laughs> no thoughts. I mean I don't. I know that sounds like I dislike it. It's just more like oh yeah you know. Now this look. Look 42. I really like this because I love the all white. What I think is interesting is that this is at least to my knowledge the first Vetement bomber, especially with Alpha Industries, that has been made in white since the 2017 white bomber. I don't know if this is going to be a misplaced column in the back or if this is going to be a hood like on the old version, but I really, really like it. So look 43, I'm just going to review this at the same time as look 45. I love the whole tracksuit vibe that they're doing. Obviously, this is super similar to like the vibe of track Balenciaga thing. I don't know the name. But I like it nonetheless. It looks like it's made of leather. So for me, it's kind of giving basketball. All right, look 44. This is a fun one. So we have this like big ass Titanic necklace in red, a smaller and a smaller version up on top, unless it's all one piece, but it's cute. I love how then like the red thing is tucked in as well. And it's kind of heart shaped as well. A little Jessica Rabbit moment, maybe kind of random. So here's what I was talking about before. So we have this bright red bomber with the orange interior right and this to me easily mimics this viral look from that old Vetsma show i'm assuming it's viral because i've seen it way too many times but when it came out i was not aware of the brand literally because i was like two seconds old but it's literally sad the exact same way i have to assume that it's the exact same thing speaking of which i'm obsessed with the may the bridges i burn light the way hoodie shirt all that so this just says Vetsma limited edition i believe on like a red long sleeve either crew neck or shirt. Same like peaking neckline thing coming off the bottom. I still don't really understand like what that is, but I don't mind it. Um, So the jacket this time around is done with Alpha Industries. If you look really closely, you can see like on the storm flap and you can also see Alpha hardware there. There's also this like red glittery skirt thing. That is not just a skirt. That appears to be a dress version of this like maybe other top that we saw the like Jessica Rabbit moment. Other than that, I have nothing to say. I wonder how this jacket is done. I mean, it doesn't have the zipper for the hood on the collar, as you can see. So, I mean, it's probably just the raised column in the back, which I would have loved to have more hoods in this, but it's fine. Look 47, I like how the jeans are bejeweled. Other than that, no other thoughts. This is beautiful. I really, really like this. I mean, for me, all black tight gloves, mock neck, you have my attention. Look 52, I like how big the pants are and how they're the same material as the jacket and what appears to be the shirt under. I love when all of the material is the same and it'll look like this, that is so heavily layered. And I like how big the shoulders are. I think it's just a very fun look. Look 53, this is a dress, the same type of thing as that gray one before. It looks to be unhemmed. It's very cute. I like the way it scrunches. I would wear this. Okay, look 54, I really, really like this look because I love the way that it all like scrunches forward. I love the way that they tied the wrist down. Um, not practical whatsoever, but it's very cute. I love how it's all bejeweled. I hope that's not like a print because I just don't like that. But I really like how it's all bejeweled and they have the shoulders in there. I mean, it's just a fun look. I don't really think this is something you can literally wear anywhere. You can't talk, you can't wear makeup, you can't eat, you can't walk, you can't touch things really. Stones might rip off. You can't really wear it, but I like it. So look 58, I saw someone say this is a knockoff of Chanel. We've seen the Vesalia brothers do, you know, their own takes on Chanel, but I like this. I think it's a fun way to, you know, have like um, an ode to like, you know, the French 
like vibe. The jeans are inside out. I mean, I think this is a cute look. Maybe white gloves would have been better in my opinion. I don't know. Another thing up to this point that I don't really love is that there's no bags or jewelry besides those heart necklaces really. I mean, I think that this could be something that reminds me of like that one Balenciaga show, the recent one that I just reviewed. The Balenciaga show where they're like all in the street reminded me of like Parisian day to day. I think that this could have been that if it had like a cool bag, maybe a jacket, maybe like a ring on, you know what I mean? Like some necklace or something, but it just, I don't know. I wish there was a little more. I know Vets Font doesn't really do bags. They've done like random little things here and there, but like, I don't know, just something would have been nice. Okay, so this reminds me obviously of like the hourglass blazer from Balenciaga. I have to say the construction is not as good. Okay, so this is another take on Chanel, in my opinion. I like how the buttons are like a little bit different. I just feel like there's something about these like little four pearls. It's cute. Tweed's cute. I like how it's long. I feel like we just don't really see that from Chanel. I don't know much about Chanel. I just feel like we don't really see that, so I like it. Look 61, I love the little tag on the wrist for Betemont. I think it's really cute. I love the coat. I don't care too much for what's under, but the coat's really nice. Look 64, this is really reminding me of the couture with the sleeves, with the way the body is like floating, and then just with the overall shape and like the neck. I feel like it's just a mix of a lot of things that I don't really think needed to be mixed. It's like, okay, here's what I see. The whole glove, opera glove thing, right? And then I see the velvet on the face, which, you know, they've been doing velvet, the two of them, for years. And then basically a take on the Balenciaga couture floating shirt. And then just random black fabric at the bottom. Kind of random. Other than it being big, I just don't really understand it. 69, same material. It looks like the same material as those beginning looks and maybe the wall as well. I like the jacket. It looks very, very luxurious and the dress as well. But in the collection, I'm not sure if I understand it too much, especially as it's look 69. It's like one, not the grand closing or not the big opening. Look 70, this looks like an hourglass coat. I really like it in black. I mean, it's very pretty. Nothing really that interesting or like eye catching here, but it's very pretty. Look 72, this is the all black sequin thing. I've seen this before. I mean, I have seen this almost exact look be worn by Kim Kardashian. She had a different mask on, but like the vibe is literally the exact same, which I don't really care too much about, but I'm just saying what I see, you know? And I feel like this isn't old enough to be like, oh, I know what that is. It's kind of just like, oh. Look 74, we got the same type of thing as that other dress, but in silver, it looks nice. This is just a lot. I kind of like how overwhelming it is though. Same thing here, 75. This looks to be like the sides of it are being held up by like clamps or people or something, but I like how just overwhelming it is and how it doesn't really look comfortable or like practical. I don't know, there's just something about it that like, I feel like it's a necessity for it to be made, you know? This is really beautiful. I can't believe this is ready to wear. I mean like, my God, I just really like it. I don't know if we'll ever see this. I wanna see people wear Vetsmo on the carpet. We've seen like dresses here and there and like, you know, some of those were fun moments from like random celebrities on the carpet but i want to see something like just more interesting like this on a carpet i don't think that would happen because if a celebrity were to show up in this type of gown on a carpet it would be done by like zach posen or like you know jean baptiste valley or whatever look 67 the same thing in white it's pretty and now look 78 so this is the full blown out version of those first two looks that we saw I like that they did this. I wish there was a show for this. I think it would have been cool. One thing I wanted to mention is, as I said before, I feel like this has nods to like what a dress form is. And obviously using a dress form is past the drawing stage. It's really getting things to drape. I don't know about Giram's creative history, but I know that Demna just spent a lot of time going straight to draping. And this collection is all about draping. It's less about other things. It's all about how the clothes are falling on the body, regardless of if people think that you're just smacking somebody in the middle of a shape which honestly i kind of like but learning how the denim and all the different fabrics fall really takes experimentation and obviously they must have done that on dress forms or something so i think that that was kind of a cool theme to tie in but to revisit what people were saying about this collection people were pissed i mean someone said both derivative and repetitive someone said having garam as a creative director is a mistake what does that really mean like what is a mistake you know what i mean in this context it's close who's are we all that upset? I don't see it as that big of an issue. And I feel like everybody else does and I just don't understand. Someone said something interesting, which I don't necessarily disagree with. They said it's like if you locked a freshman art school student in a room for a year with nothing but Demna and Ding Yun Jang 
runway shows and asked them to make a collection. Complete and utter dog shit. Also a ripoff of Margiela's oversized collection. Like, what are we hating on? I don't know. Do we like the clothes or not? I'm sitting here like, wow, I love that jacket and that jacket and that hoodie. Is there anything else to it? Like, what, what are we what are we bitching and moaning about? Because I don't really know. I totally understand where a lot of the fans are coming from, especially, you know, the people who like really want something new and stuff. I think this is what I was saying about the internet before. I think that people just like to talk a lot of shit. I get what people are saying and I know why they're complaining. I just don't see the significance or the issue. What's the issue? I don't get it. Anyways, with that being said, I might get shit for this video. I don't really care. People love to bitch and moan and it's not gonna end anytime soon. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. If you wanna see more Vesalia related content, I have some stuff up on my channel. So subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I'll be talking about Vesalia work in the future because Demna is like my favorite. But other than that, I think I have nothing left to say. But okay, I'm leaving, bye.